Right. What's up, Mortgage Coach Community? Dave Savage. And today I am interviewing Sean Herrero out of Northern California. What's up, buddy? How's it going, Dave? It's going good, dude. Good. So, Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, so, guys, Sean is coming to us live out of a mobile Sprinter van. Well, I guess by definition, a Sprinter van is mobile. Uh, but it's a, it's a mobile office. So, Sean, real quick, just tell everybody about your uh, workspace. Yeah, so it, it worked out well transitioning to shelter in place. They own all that was difficult for me. I always work from out, so it's a little messy. It was supposed to be efficient this morning. Didn't go, but my microphone. So this is kind of the office. Um, yeah, I started doing this 20, 2017. I bought the van, built it out, and now uh, I want to upgrade my office and get a new one. So, But it's been great. I love it. Good. So I've done a couple of interviews with Sean where he talks about how he's doing business in mobile all around Northern California. Uh, he kills it with Mortgage Coach and he's become a complete rock star mortgage professional. So we're gonna interview him on how he uses Mortgage Coach, why he uses Mortgage Coach. Real quick, Sean, before we get into the Mortgage Coach how and why, uh, how is your production right now? I knew you were gonna ask and I don't, I can't tell you what, it's been great. It's hands down best year. Month to date, I think I'm at almost 10 million so far. So things are going good. Last month was my best, I think just over 12. Um, so everything's been great. I don't know what my year to date total is. I don't know how many units I've done. Um, I just keep helping people. So, but everything's been awesome. Year over year, I keep going, getting better and better. And this is my fourth year originating. So January 1 7 of 2017 was my first year originating. So, so guys, he's been in the mortgage business for a while, but in a leadership role, recruiting, team building, regional leader, uh, he's been originating for going on his fourth year. And what was your production last year? I remember, was it 70 uh, million? Like 75, yeah. Yeah. So 75. Do, um, what'd you say? Well, I wanted to do more, but it, it ended at 75. But I'm not, I'm not uh, unhappy with that. No, you shouldn't be unhappy with that. Your fourth, fourth, your third full-time year originating, and uh, and now it looks like he's clearly on pace for a hundred. So the connection is okay. Do you think we should keep going, or should we pause while you go into another space? What's your thought? If it's if it's good, we can keep going. If it's not good, I'll take three minutes and I'll run upstairs to a better Wi-Fi connection. I, I'm going to put it on pause, guys. We're going to pause this, and we'll be back in three minutes. All right, so if you're watching the video, we just had Sean move location because uh, the internet in his Sprinter van was not keeping up. He said that uh, after four o'clock, uh, it seems like internet's getting sucked up more than ever. So anyways, thanks, Sean. No, my, sorry about that. Shelter in place. It's the, uh, the results of the, everyone being home, I guess. Yeah, no, no doubt. So, so you're killing it. We covered your production. We covered your market. A uh, little bit about your model. Uh, how, why are you using a mortgage coach? What is your mortgage coach? Why? So it, I just have to educate everyone. I don't want anyone to make a decision based on a, my professional or personal opinion. I want them to see the data that it's based upon. Um, it's, it's just, it's truly one of the tools that I can't live without. And, and just to give background on Dave said, I've been doing this for a long time, but only been originating for a certain amount of time. I met Dave when I was um, coaching or mentoring a group of, of agents and it just wasn't going right. But one of the main things for that was the use of mortgage coach because it creates full disclosure and transparency right out of the gate. So to me, it's a differentiator. To me, it's the best way I found to illustrate and educate at the same time. Love that. And then how are you using it? Like when in the process are you doing it? Are you waiting until they fill out the app or the online app and then here's your options? Are you doing it before to get them to fill out the app? Are you using it for purchases and refis? You know, when and how are you using it? So always. Uh, I use it as a marketing material um, a lot. Um, I use it to illustrate different thoughts and ideas that I have. Um, for purchase transactions, I'll use it. So my, my three-step process for a pre-approval is, one, fill out the online application. Two, I'll build you a mortgage coach presentation to show you three different prices so we can find your comfort zone. And then I use it as a funnel of information once they get into contract. So we're eliminating variables as we go. So we know how much you're putting down. 
Now that you're in contract, we know what your purchase price is. Now that you're in contract, let's look at four different interest rates and see which rate makes the most sense for what your plans for the property are. So I just take it deeper and deeper and then I'll show them accelerated payment. I just, I'm always using it and I use it for every angle and aspect I can possibly think of. So just to make sure I heard it right, it's pre-transaction to deliver advice, options and clarities. And then as they go from pre-approval to in escrow, you're editing it and filtering it. It's becoming more of a communication layer for you to you know, provide rates and fees. And, and so throughout the transaction, and then are you using it for annual reviews and are you doing anything at the close of escrow to continue like, hey, we closed this loan, but here's your goals and I'm gonna manage your mortgage. You know, what does that look like conceptually? Yeah, so I describe it uh, out of the gate when I, when I talk to people and do a consultation, I tell them I'm gonna build them their own personalized website that we're gonna use as a funnel of information. So that's how I describe Mortgage Coach is it's a funnel of information. Um, after we close, I do quarterly mortgage reviews. So I do it four times uh, a year. And, and that's just to, even if I can't help them refinance, they know they have the best mortgage possible, or it's a great opportunity where they're like, Hey, what, what would happen if I paid an extra $200 a month? I can show them what that would look like. So I tell them it's their financial dashboard basically for their property for as long as we're working together. Love that. And if you listen to the interview I did with Josh metal today, I did a similar interview and he also called it interpersonalized um, website. And guys, there's no right or wrong word. You can call it a total cost analysis. You can call it a digital website, a personal website. Your, I interviewed a loan officer today and he called it his three dimensional um, mortgage options. I mean, just make it personal and make it comprehensible to the client. So, so let's get into the how. Now I want to tell anybody that's watching this, this is education. So if you, use Mortgage Coach, hopefully you'll get some speed tips, you'll get some phrases, some words that will help you be more effective. But guys, this is also a sales pitch. So if you are not using Mortgage Coach, I'm going to be selling you on why you need to use Mortgage Coach. So stay tuned for that. So Sean, why don't you pull up your screen and let's, let's go through the consumer experience. So anyone who is like, what's Mortgage Coach and what's a total cost analysis or what's a personalized website, why don't you give them the tour of that? And then we'll log into the advice engine and we'll show them how to, how to create one of these. Yeah, absolutely. So this is, a, this is a client I just pulled up one I built today. Um, this is a client who wants to refinance. Um, so what we were going through today was I was getting shopped. Um, so I quoted her a rate as no points um, just to get things started. She said she was going with a different lender. I asked why. She said she was getting 3%. I said, okay, well, how are you getting 3% and what does it look like? And then I updated her analysis to show you what 2.99 would look like um, comparatively. And what I, what I do, and Dave, cut me off anytime if I'm not approaching this properly, but the, the, the two things I use the most with helping people figure out if it makes sense to refinance, because I'll use this a lot of times to talk people out of refinancing. Um, I am anti-sales. I am pro-data, pro-education, anti-sales. So when I look at this, obviously monthly savings is a big deal. Um, so if she can save 960 bucks a month, okay, we can check that box. But are you saving money short term? And the reason this is important to me is, are we overcoming the costs that you're incurring from refinancing? Because if anyone tells you it's free or it's no cost, they're lying to you. So I make sure people understand when we say no cost, no fee, whatever, that they're paying for it through their loan amount. There's no other way to do it. Or they got a higher interest rate and then I can show them what that looks like. Um, I actually have a video on YouTube I did about that, that I used Mortgage Coach to illustrate why I do not believe that a no-cost refi is the best way to go, at least not with the current rate environment. So T time out. Time yep. out. So guys, I want you to catch that. He is not only used Mortgage Coach, it's his personalized website for each client, whether it's a purchase or refi. The other thing that distinguishes Sean within the mortgage coach community is he's using it as a prop in some of the content he creates, whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's a Facebook video, sometimes he'll take a screenshot of something in mortgage coach and he'll frame it. Uh, he's, he's using it in his marketing so that he is always positioning himself as not just a loan officer, but as a mortgage advisor. And don't just come to me to close a loan, come to me to get advice and how to build wealth with real estate. So guys, follow this guy on Facebook. 
any social channels, Instagram. I mean, he is, he's entertaining and, and he's killing it with that. So anyways, keep going, bro. I just wanted to make sure we connected the dots on that. No, thank you. Yeah. Um, and like Dave, Dave, you work with Renee Rodriguez a lot, right? And so Renee yeah. said something, and this is, this will just help people understand my approach. Renee was, uh, did a call with you guys one time and he said, you're either in a salesperson or you're a marketer. You can't be both. And you have to figure out which one you are. And he said, he's a salesman. I am not a salesman. I'm a marketer. So I identify more with that. I don't, I don't like being sold. Therefore I don't sell. Um, so again, for me, mortgage coach is the best way for me to provide data and analysis to people to explain my professional opinion. So in this example, um, even though your loan amount's going up $8,000, you're going to save $26,000 in the first five years alone. Um, that's kind of my two buttons of does it make sense to refinance is how much you're saving monthly and does it make sense over time? I don't really go too deep into the, the long term for most clients because things change too much these days. So if, if it makes sense short term, it makes sense long term. Cool. And then uh, column three. If yeah. you could just make sure they understand that. Yeah. So column three. So this is something I do for everyone too, is the, I call it an accelerated payment option. I'm playing with different names for this. Um, so basically one of the things that people will say about refinancing is, well, I don't want to have my term start over. I've had this mortgage for 10 years. I don't want to have a 30 year term again. Okay, great. I totally understand. So I built out an accelerated payment option to show them how they can take the savings uh, that they're saving through their refinance, keep making the exact same payment now, and they're going to shorten their term. So actually, this is a perfect example. They basically had close to 10 years left. Um, she doesn't want to start over with a 30 year. So if you just keep making the same payment you're making now, you'll have your loan paid off three years faster. Um, that's what I like doing with accelerated payment. And I can show you guys how I build those. It's really simple to build. Um, and I do that on every refinance analysis now. So that is a best practice, guys. When you're doing a refi, you always want to show, here is the, the flat out refi, save money, do what you want with it. And here is a column that's strategic. Like, how could you take that money and pay off your home faster? Or how could you take that money and invest it and buy an investment property or build up your 401k, whatever, but just be strategic. Uh, a couple ideas. I, I see a lot of loan officers now doing like strategy one and strategy two. So you're completely playing in a different field and you're like, I'm a mortgage strategist. Strategy one, everybody does that. I go beyond that. Here's strategy two. Uh, or you could call it, you know, pay off your house early, uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it. But just, again, make sure it's simple to understand and it's something that you're passionate about. Anything else you want to call out on this before we jump into how to do one of these? Um, not really. I guess the other reason is just using this as I'm competing with someone else. If I look at it that way, so coming from a place of advice will always win. So let's just assume other mortgage person says you can refinance to 3% and you'll save $900 a month with no out-of-pocket costs. Okay, great. Well, if I'm the exact same rate and everything, let's just say everything's the same. I've given, I'm, I'm a better advisor. I've given them more information on how their mortgage actually works, full transparency, and show them how to take that savings and put it to work for them. So even if all things are equal, there's more value in my opinion in what I'm providing to them than what they're getting from someone else. Sweet. So let me ask you this, how fast do you think you could create one of these? Um, probably in a couple minutes. Should we do one? Okay, well, let's, let's, let's time it. So jump into the, I'll, I'll hit the timer when it's time. I'll pull out my stopwatch and hit it. But before you do that, I want you to go into, um, go to settings in the upper right-hand corner, click on settings. I want to call out the fact, guys, we have this new gamification. So if you're looking at mortgage coach, you're like, what should I do? Guys, we will turn you into a black belt in mortgage advice. We will give you the skills that you need and we've gamified this. So real quick, you see where it says TCA is created. It has a little box with an arrow. Click there? on that. Yeah, this right there. No, I don't know. No. I've over, never over over by your your red belt badge. It says TCA's K right oh, to this, the right of this, that. This, this. Yeah. So guys, this is the path. Now Sean has played the game. I mean, he's <laughs> done over a thousand TCAs. But if you log in and you're a white belt, we're going to give you the videos you need when you need them. We're going to give you the training you need when you need it. 
And as you, as you elevate as a mortgage coach, you know, black belt, we will recognize you. So if you could close that out real quick, Sean. Do, is it, when I get to 2000, is it like mortgage coach enlightenment? Well, like, we, we've been talking about like, what do we need to do? You know, should there be like a Bruce Lee award or should there be like, you know. No, I've never seen this to before, to be honest. I, uh, I've, seen, I've seen the badges come up, but I hadn't seen this before. So that's really cool. The trophy case. Makes the it fun. Yeah. Case. Yeah. It's a game. Good, good way to put it. It's a game. Yeah. And then you'll see on the far right, there's the onboarding badges. So you can see he's added his headshot. He did his first um, TCA. If you scroll down, could you scroll down a little bit? I want to like at the bottom, you can see that he's done consecutive logins. For APIs, are you using the Jingo integration? No, I just set up uh, HomeBot today. That's my oh, only API I, integration. Yeah, well, I was going to say, like, how are you? Because as a solo individual user, the only two integrations we have are HomeBot and, um, and Jingo. And there you go, man. You are one of our first uh, integration partners of, uh, of HomeBot. So nice. that's pretty bitching. All right. Um, so I wanted everybody to see those badges. Now, what? let's... Tell me when you are ready to hit the clock. Okay, so we're so watch you build it out. So I'm going to do a purchase one because it's more hypothetical, and I don't have like for a refinance. I need more information to create their current mortgage. So can I just do a purchase one as if I had to yeah, just pre-approve someone? Yeah, okay, cool. Of course. Okay. And and by the way, everyone, Dave will point out that there's things that I could set up that I haven't that would probably make me faster. But this will be my workflow. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're here. How do you use it? And I will call out some things. And then I do want, like, literally as you finish it, mm -hmm. I want you to take that link and I want to show, I want you to just to speak to how you would forward it to the client. And then I want you to go into live and I want to just, okay. you know, kind of like, okay, we built it. Now this is how I would do my customer experience. Okay. Got it. Okay. So this is, this is page one. So tell me when, when to start. I'm ready. Okay. Ready. Three, two, one. Go. Okay. Smith. And I will call it out every minute. I will give you the one minute reminder. So he's filling out the names. Now guys, if you work with a company that has an integration with Optimal Blue, or we integrate with your CRM, this will, that will already be filled out. We also integrate with Simple Nexus so that family filled out the app. This is done. If, if a family asks for a TCA through HomeBot, it'll already be filled out. But we're seeing how Sean does it. Geez, password things give me a delay. Okay, so let's say we approve them for, I don't know, 800,000. So you usually put the, you know, the loan amount or the program at the top. At like this stage, the, I do, because I, I always show, so what I tell people on uh, is I'm gonna show, we're gonna find your comfort zone. I'm just gonna do 20% down for now, 640, maybe like three, I don't know. Let's go 3.375, I guess, 360. One so, minute. So this is where Dave would say I probably should have set up one of these templates, but uh, I didn't. Yes, that is right. You should um, have. God. Okay, closing cost detail. I have that saved. 2020 okay, purchase. You got, you got a fee template at least. I had a ton yeah. of fee templates. I deleted them all because I, I wasn't using them. So I would update this accordingly, but I have my transfer tax and everything built in. So this is good to go. Um, that's that. We'll go 10 days of prepaid interest. So by the way, you could be done right now if you would have done a strategy template, call it a pre-approval or purchase power strategy template, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, I'll learn something. So one and a quarter, right? hundred bucks for insurance, collect 12 months, four months of taxes, six months. I always show escrow accounts because um, I'd rather be conservative and show higher closing costs and then explain to them how they don't have to do that um, versus being the sales guy that shows them lower closing costs and then scares them later. Um, we'll go 850. Two minutes. So I just copy over the other one, 850 price. That's a speed tip. Just copy next. one program to the next. So the, everything's going to be the same. That. Everything's going to be the same. Add another product. Product three, 900. Nice. Copy 850. Okay. Monthly cost. Done. So I always go 36 months. I go short term because everyone knows where the life will be in three years. I don't know where mine will be in five, but I know where three is going to be. I always do yeah. 20 year for the long term analysis. Um, and when I'm doing um, uh, 
price for most of my clients are first time buyers will go total net worth over time for the, for the long-term mm. analysis. I don't Smart. use a, a reinvestment strategy at this stage. Um, I'm done. So now I would go down to here, preview. Three minutes. Come on, internet. So don't tell me now. I'm timing you. But okay. You created the TCA in you know, less than three minutes. Uh, you'll see that there's purchase options. Anything that you would fine tune about this? Yeah, so I always look at it and I missed changing the price there. So give me three and a half. Well, give me a 30 second penalty for that. Yeah, no, dude, we're good. That was actually 20 seconds. You're, you only got a 20 second penalty. So it should update in just a second. I shouldn't have to open another one. Is that to Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, okay, you didn't cool. change the load amount. There it goes. There yeah. it goes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Just a little bit of a delay. So these are the things I, I point out to people. It's here's your price. Here's your payment. Here's your cash to close. Uh, because if we're at the very basis of starting, what do, what do humans do? We look for what's my, what's my cost out of pocket and what's my payment every month. If I know those two things, I can tell you your comfort zone and price point. So that's what I do here. Um, where should I go now, Dave? Yeah. So let's go back into the product. So you guys saw that he did that in three, three minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, I want you to go to the live, um, open up that little, um, menu on the right. Well, there's a couple different places you could do live. Um, so the way, I always, the, the way I always do live, because from here, if, if Dave, if you were my client and looking at this, when I click on all these, it works from preview. So this is yeah. how I do my live. But um, where do I get to live the right so way? So scroll to the top of the toolbox. You know, the... Here? No, right. Go to the, go to the top right of the tool. Oh, you can see it right there. You see where it says record video? Go down. Oh, go here, down. here, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so you could add the video there or you could click the other one and have the live experience. So, you know, and now you're going into Mortgage Coach Live and whatever you click, it changes for the family. How often do you use that feature? Every single time, but you don't have to get to it from here. I do it from here. I just go preview. Yeah, no, you, you could do it either way. Now, yeah. I want you to go to the very top of this scenario. Go to like program one go to the very, you know, the first step client, go to client. Okay. Click on client. And then I want you to click that switch that says, is this a strategy template? And I want you to say yes. Okay. Okay. And now I want you to name this uh, purchase options, you know, purchase options. And you could just do the marketing, you know, make it a marketing report, click marketing, uh, boom. And now I'll call it purchase options. Okay. Now I want you to go back to the home screen. Click, you know, the mortgage coach logo, the mortgage coach logo on the top left hand corner. Jeez. Okay, and now you see, oh wait, where'd your strat? So by the way, you see where it says automated? Yeah. Mortgage coach is go. so secure here. Yeah, and click re remember me there. So you there we go. Never no, I do, it's, it's the, it, I do, it, it's not remembering me for whatever reason. Um, so okay. go back, go back into the purchase options. Okay, and click strategy template. So you didn't, you didn't click yeah. yes yet. Okay, yeah. cool. Now, now go back to the home screen. I think I got to go next so it saves. Okay, and then go to the home screen. And now you see strategy templates. So next time you do this, click on strategy template, click on copy to new client, new client. And now all three of those programs are built out and all you got to do is go and change the rate and the payment. So instead of like, another program, another program. It's, it's just change. I mean, literally you could do what you just did in one minute. Got it. Okay. Nice. So I wanted you to see that little demo there. Uh, go back to the logo. Any, any features or functions, just knowing that we're demoing this for like someone who's like, Hey, should I get on the mortgage coach team and go from being a fee week, fee worksheet, white belt loan officer yeah. to being a black belt mortgage coach, badass, anything else you want to call out? Yeah. So just from, a, so again, for me, it's every single client virtually every step of the way. And then after the transaction gets a, a mortgage coach presentation, but ha using mortgage coach to generate clients, especially with uh, the market being what it is right now, all the fear of unemployment is, is housing going to dump all these things that people are thinking about. So kind of uh, speaking to people's fears. Uh, this is a, an example of just a marketing one. So the cost of waiting, um, so we can just show them what it looks like to use today's interest rates at today's prices versus waiting for a drop of say 10% in, in, real, in the cost of the home. 
um, using, I use Q1's interest rate. So this is marketing, right? So you could build this, put it on, I'll open it so you guys can see it. Um, build this out, make a little video, record a video in here and just say, you know, this is, this is what things look like. So in this example, I built this this morning. Um, so if I buy now for 900,000, uh, at a rate of three and a quarter. Hey, hey, do, do real quick, just so people could see this a little bit more, put it in the other view, you know, click the, the little hamburger menu, do it in that, and then blow it up just a little bit so people can, yeah, thanks. Whoa. And, and, and as you're going through this, one of the gentlemen had said, could you speak a little bit more about the short term and the long term? Uh, not share, but switch yeah. view. Yeah, switch view, there you go. Is that, is that good? Yeah, you can see it a little better there right now. Okay, cool. So, so this was my idea here. And is uh, I had a realtor today. He puts out a video every Friday. He wants to speak to what's going on right now. Uh, he wanted me to give like a quote. And I said, I'll do better. I'm going to give you data to drive home your point. Um, so I said, if you buy today at a purchase price of 900000 put 20% down just to keep it simple. Interest rates three and a quarter. Monthly payments 4150 Total cash to close is 185 versus waiting, oh, there's gonna be a recession, I'm gonna wait for the market to drop 10%, okay? So assuming that happens, we go to 810, what if interest rates go back to what they were Q1 of 2019? So I'm not using some number from 2005 or seven, this 4.375 was March of 2019. Um, your payment is exactly the same. Um, your cash to close would be lower, but look at how much money you lost, right? So by buying now at the lower interest rate, I saved $24,000 versus waiting for the price to drop. And if I look at my net worth, when I pay off the house, I've got an extra 200 grand. So this helps to overcome the concept as human beings, when we buy something, we talk about how much does it cost. When you're financing something over 30 years, interest rate plays a very big role in what you're saving. And so the deal here, guys, is make sure you find out what the client's assumptions is. So if you had a client that said, oh, I'm worried that values are going to go down 10%. Well, let's model that out. If they said, oh, I'm worried that values are going to go down 5%. Well, let's model that out. What do you think values are going to do? What do you think rates are going to do? Now I'm going to model that out, give you your personalized website and help you make a decision. Sean, I don't know if you've done this yet, but I, I have a feeling there's a lot of folks that want to move from the house that they're at right now. They either want an office you know, they want a bigger kitchen, you know, they just want to move. And a lot of people have equity. So I think there's a lot of people that are in a position that, you know what, we could move, we could take some chips off the table, put 10% down, put more money in the bank, which I think a lot of people want more money in the bank right now. Uh, and be in a position to have a bigger, nicer home and build wealth faster. So like a move up analysis. Have you done anything like that yet? So yes, I, I can't remember what to call it or wh where I yes, I've done that. Um, I also do buy before you sell to avoid um, just showing people how they could not be contingent here in the Bay Area. So I've built it for that. But uh, this will be really relevant. Actually, you just you remind me. Show this, it. I want to well, let me show you a better show one. I'm going to show you a better one. Um, yeah, whoops. show me show me some Sean Herrera ninja moves. And by the way, we got Jeremy Forcier watching us on Facebook. There he Live. is. What's up, brother? So, so make sure, uh, you know, we got to impress the big dog. Okay, so, so March 20th is when this TCA was built. So before I open it up, just to give perspective, I'm a problem solver. Um, when everyone's panicked about what to do, I don't want to buy a house anymore. My down payment dried up because the stock market crashed. I don't want to put as much down because it, the, I want my money to recover or I need to have cash in case my life changes. I built a TCA to speak to the fear and panic that happened right at the beginning of shelter in place. So, and I did a video about this and it's on YouTube, um, but this is pure marketing, right? This is just speaking to people's fears. Um, so if I open this up, and this is throwing me off having it so big. Um, so basically what I did here, the concept is buy the same house you were gonna buy, just put less money down and you can cover all of those ideas. So if you were planning on buying a home for seven hundred thousand uh, dollars and putting twenty percent down, buy the same house, but just put five percent down. And the the um, argument you would get is, well, I don't want to have mortgage insurance. Okay, great. Yes, you will have mortgage insurance. So if I come up here to more info, here's my mortgage insurance. So you're right, you're going to have mortgage insurance. Your monthly payment is going to be higher, but this is a strategy that either lets your money in the stock market recover, it leaves you that cushion that you want, 
And when this is all over and life goes back to normal, just pay down the mortgage if you want to. Apply that 15% and tell them to remove the mortgage insurance. You can do that. So this was a strategy to help people see how they could accomplish their goal, but not, not and let their money recover because so much money had gone away in the stock market. Um, and you know, yes, 20% down is gonna have a lower payment. It's gonna save you more money over time, but you can always apply more to principal later. And you can always apply principal and then remove the mortgage insurance. You can do a recast. There's a lot of other options. So when people are panicking, we wanna be the voice of, we wanna be the solutions. We wanna be the ones to show them their best path. Oh, we got Zoom bombed by some crazy, <laughs> who is this guy? Dude, you'll let anybody in here. I know, Zoom bomb from Jeremy Forcier. What's up, dog? Just bombing, bombing like I'm <laughs> snowboarding, man. Just bombing like I'm snowboarding, just doing it. I love it. What's up, dude? What's up, Shawnee? What are you doing? I'm just working. Same old, same old. Are you guys live on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, we're live on Facebook. We're, uh, <laughs> we're, you know how I, I did that, how Jeremy Forcier uses Mortgage Coach? Yeah. Uh, we're doing a how Sean Herrera uses Mortgage Coach. So you, uh, you came at just the time to do the close. Oh, well, crazy. Uh, that's, <laughs> I didn't know what was happening, but this is awesome. Sean's one of my favorite people. So Dude, I love on. it. I'm going to watch this. Carry on, carry on. Well, right, I think we're right. done. Yeah, we're pretty much done. So, Sean, right, stop so sharing the screen real I'll, quick. I'll close and, then. Uh, if you don't have Mortgage Coach, you're a freaking moron. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm just kidding. Not really. Half kidding. But uh, it's absolutely game changer. Changed my life. Sean, did you just share with them like, how you use it like daily like, or specific scenarios? Uh, all of the above. So daily, and just so everyone knows, Jeremy, his office is about two hours from where I live. Uh, a couple years back when I first signed up for Mortgage Coach, I went up to his office. He let me sit with him for a couple hours and he's insanely busy and just showed me how he gets through these with as many clients as he has um, quickly. So um, Jeremy, thank you so much for being my, my guide here. Um, but we, all of it, dude, we, we went through uh, just every angle like there's nothing you can't use this for. Yeah. Hey, stop sharing your screen real quick, Sean, just so they can see your, your face. Oh, there's Jeremy. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. So, so guys, here, here is the, the closing thoughts. It's 120 bucks a month, or it's the loans you lose because you're not delivering advice in the, in the best way possible and the time you're wasting. So, uh, Sean, how much time do you think it saves you, you know, in the process? I mean, I think from the way I see other people do this, I think it's, well, shoot, actually with as fast as I can do it now, it probably is faster than writing an email. But I think the concept is, is that all the data entry say, takes up time. It saves way more time because you can, once it's built, it's built and you can just update and go versus writing a hundred emails. Yeah. So um, yeah. it's, it's, it's the first impression is, oh, this is just more work when really it saves you so much. And you will get, you will close more loans, period. By using this there's, there's no way around it jeremy you coach a lot of loan officers and you you know lead a lot of people in your region you know how, how do you see the time savings how do you break down time savings? <laughs> oh my god i mean I, I whenever anyone asks me this i don't know how to answer it because it saves you that much time so it's hard to quantify but i can tell you that it's 5x so if it takes you 20 minutes to uh price something out type up a, uh, an email, send it, and then you got to answer a bunch of questions because it doesn't make any sense because there's no visual representation and they can't really see, you know, all the details. Uh, that's probably an hour of going back and forth with a person. This has got it down to me uh, to create a uh, video, record, send, conversation with the client afterwards, 15 minutes top. So what, what's that? That's 75%? That's yeah. So it basically allows me to work 75% faster than I normally would by utilizing the technology. So while I have both you guys on the phone, I want to ask you this, you know, one, do you believe that rates are going to go lower? Like, you know, down to like two and a half or lower. Do you think that that will happen? I hope not. Oh, that was exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. There's no well, reason. 
I think it's likely they're going to go down to two and a half. You know, I don't want, I don't want to hear that. La, 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 la. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think it's good for the, as, it, like, you know, everyone's like, oh, yes, we can refi everyone. It's so bad for the economy if that happens. And then think of what the new normal is. Rates go to 3.75. And everyone's like, I'm not buying a house with those ridiculously high interest rates. Like, it, it changes perception. I don't, I don't see any reason for rates to go lower than where they are now with the Fed doing what they're doing. Um, three and a quarter on a 30-year fixed. Like, what are we complaining about? So I hope they don't go lower. I don't, I don't know how to answer it besides that um, if it does, it's crazy. I can't believe anything already. So um, I don't know. I'm not Dan Rawich. I'm not Barry Habib. I have no idea. I do know that it's a great time right now. And do not wait for rates to go lower because if they don't, well, you just missed out on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to stack cheddar. So, like, go get it right now. Uh, make people help people make really good decisions. If rates do go to two and a half percent, it's just another blessing in your business you got to take advantage of. Uh, but it's going to be on the backs of a lot of pain, uh, and we have to make sure that if that does happen, that we're being very gentle with people because most people are going to be going through a very hard time uh, if that happens. So, let's just help as many people as we can. If rates go to two and a half, hallelujah, high five. Um, mortgage coach will be even more important than ever, showing people's options as far as cost benefit ratio. Um, and, and just, so if it goes up, if rates go up, mortgage coach is more important than ever. If rates go down, mortgage coach is more important than ever. If rates stay the same, definitely mortgage uh, coach is more important than ever. <laughs> so basically, like I said, when I didn't know we're on Facebook Live, don't be a moron. <laughs> just get it. I, and I apologize, Dave. I had no idea. I just, just hopped on. Yeah. Here, no, dude. I, I, I awesome. sent you the text. I saw, <laughs> well, I saw that you had looked at it on Facebook Live, and I'm like, and I know you love Sean. And I thought, hey, what a great opportunity to bring in uh, <laughs> the GOAT, the guy who's done over 5,000 TCAs and oh. Sean Herrero all at the same time. So, guys, you, you both bring, you know, like your huge gift to the mortgage coach community. So um, thanks for jumping in and just helping us. This is a sales and marketing asset. And then if you are a current user of Mortgage Coach, hopefully Sean said something that made sense to you. If you're not using strategy templates, Sean, I showed you how to use strategy templates. Are you going to start doing it, bro? I, I think so. Sean, I, Sean, if you do it, I'll do it. Because <laughs> Dave, I am Don't such a creature. I'm no, I would. I need to do it for someone else, not for me. So, um, I, I'm gonna go in on record and say, Sean, if you do it, I'll do it. All right, because I'm in. Dave's been bugging me about it, and he's right. It, I know I'm wrong. I just haven't. I'm such a creature of habit when something works that um, I need to make it a new habit. I'm in. Yeah, no, we'll do it together. That's all it is, and it just takes time. I mean, it's. But here's the thing about strategy templates, guys. There's no training involved. It's just like create a purchase option strategy template. And when you do purchase options, use it. So anyway, hey, we're going to wrap me, this up. Let me close with one. Fun. I just thought of this because I think it kind of brings it full circle. So I learned about Mortgage Coach before I was origina an originator. Um, I've only been originating since 2017. Um, 2017, my first year, I did 30 something million. And everyone, even in my first in March, I did like four or five million people like, how are you doing this? Well, what I did for the company that I worked at before was I coached a group of people and I said, use mortgage coach, use bomb, use these tools and do these things. And I don't see how you can't make more money um, and help more people. And they didn't do it. And I'm like, well, I'll just do it myself. Sean, how are you doing this? I'm just doing what I encourage you guys to do. And it seems to be working. But mortgage coaches is, is kind of paramount in that. So it's 120 bucks a month. I don't know. Seems kind of yeah. obvious. And guys, I mean, this is a guy that's third year in the business, did 75 million, and this will be his first, fourth full year as a full-time loan officer, and he's going to do over 100 million. So get on the team, guys. Jeremy and uh, Sean, thank you, man. I really appreciate you guys. Love you, bro. Love, Love you, you guys. Sean. Love you, Dave. Right. Love you guys. you guys. See you later. Later, guys.